Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'm going to give you comparisons, all the details and final thoughts in regards to the new Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder. powder drop about a month and a half ago i did my first impressions on a try on of new luxury makeup something along those lines and this powder first became available at westman atelier website and right now it's available at major retailers i will be leaving all the details where to find them everything will be in the description box below for your convenience this powder comes in five different shades out of the five shades i picked up three of them, translucent, pink bubble, and creme. They come with five grams of product. They are made in Japan and they have a shelf life of 12 months. Now, Westman Atelier is a luxury brand, clean beauty brand, vegan and cruelty free. And one of the main points about this pressed powder as Gucci Westman had said it, is that she wanted a skincare in a powder format. That's what she wanted it. She didn't want another makeup product, but rather a skincare product that will act as a makeup product. Will do something along those lines. The powders, they cost $75 each. And let me tell you what are those key skincare ingredients that Westman Atelier has been talking about. One of them being vitamin C, which neutralizes free radicals and evens the skin tone. These powders, they also have probiotic, which enhances skin natural defense mechanism and quinoa seed extract, which minimize the look of pores retexturizing skin. And like I mentioned before, today I'm giving you my final thoughts because I have had these products for a little bit over a month. So I have a lot of experience with them. I have already applied foundation, concealer, have done my brows already. So now let's just dive right in into the demo of these powders. I think I want to start first with translucent. And if you haven't seen the box, they are just so beautiful. I think that's something that Westman Atelier does so well. It is the year packaging, the way that everything comes. Now, as far as ingredients, the first ingredient right here is Zinc Laureate, then Mica, then it does have also Zinc Oxide, Glycol, Water, Cacao Seed Extract, Magnesium. I don't see really anything else as far as fragrance goes. And honestly, as I have been using it for quite some time right now, I you know, I don't notice any scent. I'm gonna start first with the shade translucent. The component, it's just gorgeous. This kind of like champagne gold tone. It says Westman Atelier right over here in grave. And you open it up, again, shade translucent, and then you have a nice size mirror that actually has a little, where is it? A little heart right on the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my right hand side. I'm gonna go with a Wayne Goss airbrush. As you can tell, it's invisible, but it's very clear from Westman Atelier. It says, most invisible on most complexions. So there are no claims that these will work for every single complexion. I do have a light to medium skin tone. My foundation matches, again, they are also on the description box. But there you have it. To me, the translucent one is translucent. It's not brightening. Yeah, it's, it's translucent. It does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. Just translucent is setting nicely the under eye area. As you can tell, it's not drying. It's not caking and is almost imperceptible too. And now I just want to swatch it for you too. I mean, to me, swatching is nothing that is that going to determine anything for, you know, a setting powder. But I think since we're comparing three shades, might as well. I'm just going to build it up a little. But as you can tell, even when I'm swatching it, it just kind of like disappears on my skin. 
there's just a minimal trace right there but if I blend it it's just gonna it's translucent that's what it is let's go next with the shade pink bubble which is described as a brightening powder for light to medium skin tones swatch it right there and I'm gonna be using a Sonia G Inoshige Pro brush and these brushes all of them I just washed them so there's no trace of any other powder right here I'm just gonna add a little bit more which I don't feel I need it but just for you to see the difference definitely I feel like this side is more bright and it suits really well my skin tone as well the last powder that I'm gonna be demoing today is creme described as a sheer powder for light to medium complexions and I'm gonna be using a BK Beauty 108 brush And I'm going to apply it on my enlarged pores area. I hope that you are able to see how beautiful this powder blur this area where I have my enlarged pores and in a very natural way too now these powders you can actually use them I mean they are supposed to set but they are also a skincare powder but you can use them say if you have just SPF and you're just running out the door um, even a tinted SPF and you just want to use it or just directly on your skin you can do so and it will create that again that beautiful blurring effect it doesn't have to be one of those powders that you need to use it with makeup because once again that was the main focus for Gucci Westman she just wanted it a skincare product done in a powder format and I'm gonna also swatch it right here these powders are just super silky. I don't want to pass it too many times because like I said, it, it will defeat the purpose. They are just, in general, translucent. They're not going to add color to your skin. Now that my makeup is done, let me tell you what I think about these pressed powders from Westman Atelier. Okay, so... I'm super impressed about the formula. It is a very soft, silky, traceless, traceless formulation. It's extremely soft, but it's imperceptible on, on the skin. You cannot really see it. And that's something that to me is precious. Mostly when we're talking about aging skin, when we're talking about people like me that we have fine lines and large pores that things are more visible in general <laughs> and you don't want to pack too much another thing um, that perhaps I already mentioned it and I'm sorry if I'm being redundant but is that these powders you can wear them whether you're using makeup or not using makeup I think Gucci Westman really achieved what she wanted it to really get a skincare product in a powder formula and not really with the approach of okay this is makeup and you know with added skincare benefits i know you may feel like oh that's you know more of like a marketing situation and if it's a skincare and if it's going to be effective for you or not you know that's you know still obviously time will tell right but I feel like that overall finish, the overall outcome when you're using these powders is that honestly it feels more 
skincare like done something that is more makeup y you know like true makeup makeup <laughs> that's what i want to say now as far as if you need all the shades to me the shade that i will if i wasn't doing these type of videos if i have already seen it perhaps try it on i don't know at a store i would have gone just with pink bubble for my skin tone perhaps creme you know if pink bubble wasn't available because first of all creme doesn't add any shade to my skin tone and it doesn't change my foundation nothing like that but I feel like pink bubble really brings not only a little bit of a brightening effect but also is more chameleonic it's something that is not exactly as the translucent it's not exactly as the crank one it's just something different so I mean overall I think it's catering not only for my skin tones but also for deeper complexions I don't have the other two shades, but I like that it was thoughtfully done overall. Every single shade was thoughtfully done. I really love the packaging. I really love um, absolutely everything about these powders. The way that it makes your makeup last. I don't want to say that this will really lock your, if you're just using the powder, right, and you're not using a setting spray. I don't think this is the most long lasting setting powder there is out there. I do have more of like combination skin right here on the center of my face and all the rest of my face is dry. So I will have to say, mm, it is a powder that it will set your makeup, but don't think that this will be set and lock if you're not using, again, a setting spray. I think, you know, it's just a normal kind of powder in that terms, but I really love how blurring it is, how soft it is, how imperceptible it is. I really love the natural finish to it. Um, it's just a lovely powder. and this is it my friends i said my piece about these powders from west Manetarier. i know a lot of you you were wondering what i think about you know after using it more and more and more and which one will i select if i will just buy one because i mean you know 75 dollars is not an you know inexpensive kind of powder obviously you know the price tag is up there and is it worth it or not that is completely up to you you know better your finances and you better know you know if you need a powder like this in your life but i will have to say if you have mature skin or if you have imperfections i don't think it will erase anything but i think it's just very forgiven very very elegant yeah that's the word yeah they have an elegant finish. Okay, my friends, and I would just love to continue the conversation on the comment section of the video while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, don't wait too long. Let's grow our family. Go ahead. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell because believe me, you don't want to miss any of my uploads. If you like everything that has to be with luxury beauty, here you have it. On this channel you have it so do not forget to ring that post notification bell also if you're on instagram come and follow me there my handle is at hey Jacqueline. if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye